Heidi ho, Heidi ho. Well, here we are in the garage. Um, you can see there's the trunk for the dung beetle. Um, I just picked up an engine stand. Um, the engines, two of them, there's one here, and there's one here right behind me. Um, they, the one right behind me is the one that was in the pink beetle, uh, the donor bug because I don't think looking at the other engine that it was going to be uh, sufficient for what we're going to be doing as far as racing and whatnot. So uh, bought an engine stand. We're going to uh, tear the motor down, um, replace anything that needs to be replaced. Um, it does run. We, we did have it running uh, while attached. A quick video. Uh, to this one <clears throat> but um, it's uh, Saturday the 5th in the evening um, got the motor out of the pink bug the donor uh, something going on with the flywheel uh, it was rubbing on the inside of the transmission and in comparing the two there's a difference of about between an eighth and a quarter of an inch in the way the flywheel is spaced out behind uh, the engine so that's something we have to look into but I'm gonna put together this engine stand I'm not going to be able to get the motor on the engine stand tonight because um, as strong as I am, I don't have a winch um, um, to the ceiling. I, I wish I did, but I don't, um, to be able to hoist this thing up and get it onto the stand. And um, it's like 7.30, 8 o'clock, and um, um, Bones and Chad are gone for the day. They were both here. We uh, got a lot done, like I said. And... Um, we're moving forward. Got a bunch of parts and stuff today, so um, that's a that's a good thing. And um, we're rocking and rolling, baby. We're going to be ready for March for the first race at uh, Volusia Speedway Park, Barberville, um, Barberville. And uh, I'm excited. We're, we're uh, we've got plans. We're moving together, moving forward. Um, got our tools cleaned up. I had tools in a couple of different places. So that's organized and um, not as organized as I would like, but uh, sufficient. So we're going to um, uh, get a little more organized. I had a shortage in large sockets. <laughs> Apparently, uh, none of my socket sets. I have a couple of wrenches that were large that um, worked, but um, 23, 24, 25, 26 millimeter I didn't have. So while I was buying the engine stand, I also bought a, um, a kit of large sockets, three-quarter inch drive, so they're monsters, um, large sockets, and um, I had already purchased a large three-quarter inch drive ratchet that I didn't have, and uh, so we're all good. I mean, it took it took a few minutes for the for Bones to figure out um, where the exact bolts were as far as um, on the engine to get it out from under there. And, um, but they figured it out. We got it out a little more than an hour, I guess. We spent probably an hour monkeying with it, trying to get it to run. And, um, it was funny because the distributor was completely loose. You could turn it 360 degrees around. So we, we kind of figured out where the distributor is supposed to be as far as top bed center. We figured all that out and, um, I broke a belt. Um, but we're all good. And um, um, it's good. We're gonna we're gonna get. I'm gonna be out here in the shop tomorrow. Um, hopefully, Bones will, or Chad will come back, and we'll uh, get the engine up on the stand, and I'll start getting it taken apart. Um, the other engine that we've got, I'm gonna completely tear apart, put it in a bucket. Um, so that way, we've got we've got all the parts we need for everything, um, and uh, we've got a complete total backup. As far as a motor, um, we'll get it torn down, inspected, make sure that everything is 
good and tech the way it's supposed to be and then uh, we'll get that put back together in, in, a few, in the future but that way we've got a spare motor so if we have to drop an old motor and put a new motor in we're in, we're in good shape so alright for now I'm going to work on putting the uh, engine stand together and we'll be back, be back at a, a, a quick segment in the future talk to you in a bit later Heidi ho neighbors it's Sunday morning um, the next day from last night got uh, a lot of the motor taken down uh, got some bolts to be able to put it up on the engine stand and I'm um, working on the rims because I'm only one person and not quite strong enough to uh, lift the motor up into the stand so I'm gonna finish up with uh, what I'm working on but uh, I've got I've got some steely rims that um, I bought off a guy in Orange Park. Thank you very much. They were 20 bucks a piece. Um, he was nice enough to kind of donate to the cause at a little bit of a discount. So um, that worked out okay. They were, you know, kind of rusty. I mean, they're chrome, but they're pitted. Uh, I'm going to hit them with some black, flat black Rust-Oleum. These are going to be our main, our main wheels. Um, they're four bolt Volkswagen. Um, so that's good. And then um, we've got four regular Volkswagen wheels, and I've got two donor wheels that were on that pink uh, half a Beetle that we took the motor and, and transmission out of uh, donor car. So we'll run the pink ones on the front in October for um, Cancer Awareness Month. And uh, if we make it to October, I'm hoping. Uh, right now it's um, January... God, what is the date today? 5th, 6th? I think it's January the 6th, 2019. So, I've already, I've already, uh, I'm hitting these rims with a wire brush in a drill. Um, I've got a couple uh, wire brush heads, you know, basically Harbor Freight um, wire brush heads in a package for a couple of bucks. So, I put them in an old drill, an electric drill, and I'm just whiz-banging the, the rust off of them, so... I will uh, come back to you here in a few minutes. I'm going to hit them with some black, flat black Rust-Oleum and uh, see if we can't make them look at least halfway pretty. And uh, we'll be back. I'll show you what they look like. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There's shiny, shiny chrome. I mean, you can see where the rust was. I don't think these are chromed. I think they're polished steel. Um, that's, my, that's my guess because the back sides are not chrome so um, and this one I haven't I haven't even hardly hit this one yet the other three are done but I mean I'm gonna paint them so it really doesn't matter it doesn't have to be perfect so plug it along plug it along plug it along getting things done um, I went to uh, AutoZone today and mentioned to the lady that we were racing a Volkswagen Beetle and she used to have a Beetle has Volkswagen's now. Her husband has a Passat. Bev, thank you very much. She gave us 10% off. Um, it was it was real cool. She was very cool about things. So, Bev at AutoZone, Palm Coast, big thumbs up to you. She said it was funny. She said I told her that we were rebuilding a bug, and she says, "Are you right by that tire store?" And I said, "Yes." As a matter of fact, we're right behind it. She says, "You have two. I said, "Well, I have one and a half." <laughs> You can't see you can't see the front end of the pink beetle from behind. All you could see was the back side of it. So she says, she says I was going to stop and take pictures, but I didn't want to upset anybody. I said, no, you know, stop in, knock on the door, no problem. We're we're very we're very people friendly. We we're fan friendly, as it were. So, um, yeah, it was really cool. It was you know the, the dung beetle racing team is. Uh, Starting to, you know, everybody that I talk to, everybody that I talk to is either owned a Beetle, driven a Beetle, loves the Beetle. There's going to be a lot of, there's going to be a lot of fan base for it, I think. It's, um, I'm getting excited every time, every day and every time I go out, I talk to somebody and they're, they're excited, man. It's, it's cool. They like it. So, you know, like I said, it's air-cooled, racing cool. So, we'll see what happens.